But what if I forget my lines? You're not gonna forget your lines, bro. Like, look, this is the first time that you and I are gonna be talking about this. You know, it's you know, it is completely acceptable if you jumble up or if you know you forget or something like that. Because here's the thing: we are talking about player versus player in Pokemon Go. One right? of the biggest features. One of the biggest features that has ever Do we get dropped. To play it? Yes, we get to play. Okay. It. And guess what, man? I hope you guys tune in to our next Pokemon Go video because you are going to be seeing Mega Crasher and MMS Bloodhound duke it out in a demo style battle. It's going to be awesome! Well, we, Woo! we know the results. Yes, we absolutely do. You're going to lose. No, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. I just had chili. <laughs> hey, you're not hiding behind your chili you're as an excuse to get choked. <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? It is going time with Mega Crasher and MMS Bloodhound. And we present you guys with a brand new video. This video is a news video. It is an action-packed video. It is a video filled with hype and a whole bunch of craziness, baby. And I think you know what it is we're here to talk about, man. We got two tremendously big things in Pokemon Go here to talk about. And the first yeah. one is what? PvP. PvP player versus player Pokemon Go Trainer Battles! It is out. It is live. I am honestly so excited. I could die. It is absolutely great. Like, I just... Man... I, do you realize how long I've been waiting for a for this feature to come out, man? You mean you're uh, waiting for yourself to get trashed by me? Excuse me? <laughs> do, do, do you want it, do you want me to choke the chili out of you again? No. I, I will. No, I will. No, no, no. These hands are ready. And I'll tell you something, man. Is any challengers out there that wants a piece of this? You're gonna get these hands, just like Braun Strowman says, get these hands. Well, you're gonna get these knees, baby. So. That being said, enough messing around. Why don't we actually get into the meat? The meat and potatoes and the chili of this video. So, as you guys know, Trainer Bells are now live in Pokemon Go. Like, if y'all haven't already gathered that, man, and you're just coming across this now, you better get your teams together. So, this feature al allows for players to battle each other locally or over the internet if they are ultra or best friends. And guess what, man? You and Not I, we are BFFs, friends. baby. We are BFFs. That means that regardless of the time or the place, we can battle to our heart's content. It's going to be great. Now, with that being said, as well as battling the team leaders in a test match. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually really interesting, baby. This yields various rewards, including the Sino Stone. And you know what? I saw on Reddit that there are people getting two Sino Stones at one point. Yeah. So appara apparently, apparently, so like that's a, that's actually like really freaking awesome. If you if you guys are fans of Sinnoh Stone Evolutions, battle, 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 battle. I almost punched the camera there, but battle to your heart's content because that is a good, that's gonna be a good way to get Sinnoh Stones. You don't have to rely on the uh, on the seven day breakthrough research to more or less disappoint you because yeah. what if you don't get the stone? You just get dust and There's you get an like encounter. It's more likely that we don't get it from the seven days breakthrough. That's right. But when it comes to battling, though, you 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 even said yourself you you can get duplicates of the Sinnoh stones. That's what Reddit says. Yeah, and Reddit is you know as far as Pokemon Go is concerned, it's a pretty a trustworthy sort of uh, sort of site. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? We haven't really been steered wrong when it came to Reddit. So. With this, getting a second attack on your Pokemon is now possible, as well as using candy. So, here's the thing, is that we already know that you, you're, we can get secondary attacks, secondary charge moves. Yeah. Just think about the freaking possibilities, man. The coverage. The coverage. Ghost and fighting. Yes, Ghost and fighting has unlimited coverage. There is not a single type combination that can resist that. And not to mention, you got the coverage, you got the carnage, you got the absolute destruction, man. You got you got destruction incarnate coming in the form of the likes of Gyarados, or the likes of Groudon, Ho-Oh, like the list goes on. Hell, Moltres, like Sky Attack Moltres can keep Rayquaza. Yes, Rayquaza. But see, Sky Attack Moltres, and then you can you can you can tech in Overheat right then and there. Fire and flying, amazing coverage. And Rayquaza, oh, oh! Don't Dragon even get me started, man. Flying. Dragon and flying, man. It's going to be absolutely great. Like, this is just absolutely crazy. Now, 
here's the thing. You want to talk about crazy here, let's talk about what, what happens here next. This goes from 10,000 stars and 25 species candy up to- Oh! Oh! 1,000 stardust and 100 species candy, depending on your Pokemon species! Oh, are, 100 legendary candy Are legendary you freaking species. nuts? Are you freaking nuts? Like, that is a lot of candy! And that's a lot of <sighs> mileage if uh, you aren't you gonna use rare candies. That's that's 2,000 that's 2,000 kilometers. Yeah. 2,000 kilometers, you're walking with the legendary buddy, Holy cow, that's just, wow. Now, Serby is also saying that we're currently testing the features and we'll report all new elements, so keep checking back. And as we're seeing right here, we got we got ourselves a crap ton of edited in information, man. So, let's break this down. So, it's now live for trainers uh, Level. with the levels of 30 or above. That's fair, that's good, that's all well and good. So, they also updated the trainer battle section with lists of each of the NPC's trainer teams. Can we have a look? Uh, yeah, we can definitely have a look once uh, once we finish reading through all this, man, because I'm actually quite intrigued with this, Me big too. time. So, uh, we also have ourselves information regarding this. The cost for a second move is relative to a Pokemon's buddy candy distance. We have updated our in-depth Pokemon Go Pokedex with listing for each. So, here's the thing, okay, this this is where the 10,025 candy come into play. Uh, it's, it's one kilometer, so, you know, starters and babies. You got three kilometer candies, being 500 dust and 50 candies, that's so okay. Uh... You got five kilometers, uh, you know, for per uh, can buddy candy, uh, with seventy-five thousand dust and seventy-five candy. Yo, that's a lot of metagross right there, you know. Uh, and twenty kilometers, man, Aww. twenty kilometers. That's just a rip right there, man. You gotta be kidding me. One thousand, one no, one hundred thousand, one hundred thousand Stardust plus one hundred candy. Like that is just absolutely ridiculous, man. Like, uh, what, 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 what say you? Is not feasible. It's not feasible to get it on a legendary without using rare candy. Mm. That's exactly it, man. So save your rare candy if you want to buff your legendary Pokemon. Just like to have these biceps with the peaks of Mount Everest. Well, not really, because you know I gotta, I got, gotta work on the peaks at the gym. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, well, we're kind of working on that together. So I digress. Getting back on track here, man. This is gonna be a long ass video. So. Here's the thing, we also actually have ourselves additional information. There have been some tweaks with the GO stats. Okay, this, this is going to get real interesting uh -huh. here. So, uh, Alolan Diglett has had its attack and defense lowered, while Cantonian Dugtrio has a defense increase and calculated their stats from the base stats in the main series title. What? What? Seriously? Oh, wow. That's because uh, Dugtrio has been using... Um, has been using the pre-gen 7 stats until now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's just, that's just, wow. Alright. Uh, so yeah, like, it, it has, like, the Cantonian, uh, Dugtrio has had a defense increase, and alone Dugtrio also had a defense decrease. A defense decrease. decrease? I thought it was Why? supposed to, what? I thought it was supposed to be, uh, like, you know, I guess I get more tanky because the added steel type? Hey, that's... Uh, okay, okay, alright. Uh, now, in addition to this, Ninjask has actually had its attack raised. So, that could be pretty interesting right there. Uh, don't really know much about Ninjask. It's a fairly new Pokemon. You know, you, you got Ninkata that was just recently uh, introduced to us, I believe, last month. Through a through, uh, research. Through some research, yes. Yeah. Now, with all of that here, finally, Meltan and Melmetal have had their stats altered to be more in line with how they should be when calculating their stats from the base stat in the main series title. So, alright, so that's, um, that's pretty interesting stuff right there. Alright, so, we have also updated all of our Pokemon Go section with these changes, including changes to their CP... CP? CP? We're Another CP? Another CP what? rework? We're gonna have to look into that, y'all. Just hold up on that. All right. So sorry for the uh, random jump cut right there. We we were really curious about this last line of dialogue right here. We have updated all of our Pokemon Go section with these changes, including changes to their CP. Now, you know the thing is, me and Jason, we thought that it was perhaps you know hinting towards another CP rework or something like that. Uh, but so we decided to you know do a little bit of digging around, but we couldn't exactly come up with anything But if there is going to be any sort of updates that we have missed here in this present video 
then we will do the best we can to stay on top of this and keep you guys informed and give you guys the details as to what it is that you guys need to know. Now, here's the thing, guys. This right here, this is the kicker, all right? So, it has also been discovered that the type effectiveness has altered. This is going to be interesting. So, super effective hits are now 1.6 times multiplier as opposed to 1.4, yeah. I believe it was. Yeah, that's actually pretty crazy. So, not very effective damage is now 0.625 times multiplier. And moves which would normally be immune in main series now do 0.39 times multiplier times holy shit and that's crazy there are people already doing solo raids against Tyranita. what thanks to these changes what are you serious i'm not kidding what oh Reddit? oh my god well i wouldn't doubt that for a second but at the same time that's absolutely crazy man that's just wow dude that's crazy and somewhat almost did an episode uh, solo successfully, but uh, I think we are screwed due to the timer. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Almost. <sighs> almost, man. Just almost. Almost. Now, here's the thing, guys, is that, you know, do, well, actually, before we move on, before we move on, do you have anything else that you want to add to this glorious piece of, like, just history like it's 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 like it's like chocolate cheesecake on a silver platter kind well, of news no, that means that pokemon who have a good defensive typing will be even better because of the changes yeah i'm really hyped they're man gonna, they are gonna resist moves that they already resist yep. even more yeah this is gonna be absolutely great, man. I cannot wait to do some PvP content for you guys. We are both hyped. You feel me? Yeah. So with that being said, let's actually now move on to the next story. If you guys made it through this part of the video, I, I, I commend you guys. I applaud you. I props you, all that stuff. This did take a little bit longer than we had intended. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah, let's go ahead and let's move on now to the next piece. Okay, guys, if... If, if, if the first part of this video did not blow your freaking sockers and canoodles off, we have ourselves something else here. So, Niantic have confirmed that Lugia and ho oh, oh, they're set to reappear again! Oh! Oh my god! A special weekend. A special weekend! I just yes. honestly, I'm so excited, man. Like... Okay, I get that we've had like rerun after rerun after rerun with these guys. But it's Ho-Oh! It's Ho-Oh and it's Lugia! Yeah. And, and they both can come back shiny since they have their shiny forms and all that shiznickel released and yeah. all that stuff. But here, but like, I just, I gotta know the day, man. Like, can we even get free raid passes yeah. on Freezu? I wonder if we can get free raid passes as well. So here's the thing, is that... In Pokemon Go, for a special weekend from 2100 hours Friday, December 14th through 2100 hours Monday, December 17th. Oh, are you shitting me? I wonder if they are going to get their special moves. Are you absolutely sh D Did you not even listen to me, Cosmo? I said, are you shitting me? I work! I That's work you. on those! I That's work on those days! But I don't need to work. You're on freaking vacation! No, I'm gonna have shi more shiny Lugia and hoes! <sighs> Why are you pushing my buttons? But, but, special moves? Special the moves. There's possibility for special moves. There's possibility of special moves? Shinies? Yes, yeah, shinies, but how about you take a special move shiny form of a chunk? I'm just a Cosmo. I'm just a Cosmo. God dang it, man. You, you always have to pull that card. I'm just a Cosmo. I'm just a Cosmo. I just. I just don't even understand this. Like, okay, here's the thing. In in, in getting, getting back to non-raging sort of uh, proportions here, uh, here's here's a, you know a very very interesting sort of question that you did bring up is that special moves will, will Ho Oh and Lugia actually have like special moves exclusively for this weekend here? Okay, uh, see here's the thing. Uh, it's not mentioned that they will have special moves. Yes, but. Uh, for all the all the past raid days, special raid days, there have always been special moves that were released. Mhm. Mm and the thing is, is if you take a look Except at Except for the very first, was that uh, Alicudo? Or... I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you guys remember back real quick, 
to the main series games uh, where you have Lugia and Ho-Oh. Uh, you had Lugia with Aeroblast. You had Ho-Oh with Sacred Fire. Fire. So I, I like it, even though it says nothing about the sort here just yet. Yet I, I put very loose quote quotations on that. Can you imagine if they actually release those moves, like those exclusive moves, making those Pokemon even more special? Which then means Lugia will be complete. Uh, yes. And so, so will Ho-Oh. So will Ho-Oh, but the problem is, is that it doesn't exactly take away from the fact that I'm working on that freaking weekend! Oh, it's okay. I'll be, I'll be able to go uh, to do my raids. Yeah, you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing my accounts, aren't you? No. No? What? Tell are... what, bro. I'll do the raids. I'll show them to you to make you happy. You know what's gonna make me happy right now is me choking little Cosmog for not doing what he's told. Y even though playing accounts is breaking the rules and all that stuff, we are rule breakers. I'm just a Cosmog. I'm just a Cosmog. Oh well, you can't win them all, guys. Uh, so, in all seriousness, though, you know, we wanted to present you guys with this bit of news as well. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the part, the uh, comical part here. Here's the thing, is that you can't, you can't always uh, attend every single Pokemon Go event, and it just so happens, hey, uh, I happen to work on that weekend. You win some, you lose some, right? I already have enough Ho-Oh and Lugia to last me a lifetime, but I will but say... that without that special move. Are you trying to push my buttons? Are you, right, trying, right. are you trying to reactivate the Mega Crasher? The Mega Crasher will come out. We'll see about that. Yeah, it, we will see about that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this this crazy, crazy video. Like, I don't even know really what 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 really to call this kind of video. This this is like big time news, man. Should I look at the PvP team leaders teams? Yeah, let's do it, man. We're actually gonna go back to PvP real quick and showcase you guys the teams from the team leaders. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so kind of doing a little bit of a rewind back to our first topic here. We are actually going to be kind of going a little bit in depth here when it comes to the PvP portion here of this video uh, in regards to the team leader trainer. So what we have here is we actually have ourselves the Pokemon here for the Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. For each of the three team leaders, we got ourselves the team Mystic Leader, uh, Blanche or Blanche, like I, I think that's how you pronounce it? Blanche? Blanche or Blanche uh, or something I have like no that? Idea. Just gonna call you Blanche. I apologize if I butcher the pronunciation here, but in the Great League here, we got Magikarp, we've got Phoebes, and we got Squirtle. Okay, that's a pretty interesting team. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Splash. Why is it gonna use Splash? Like, if, yeah, like, I just. I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. Uh, but then we get to the Ultra League. We got ourselves Alola Ninetales, we got Glalie, and we got Lapras. Pretty interesting, you know, we got all ice, you know, Alola it's pretty, Lee pretty Kong. good. Hmm. Yeah. I've read on Reddit that there's a glitch involving, involving the Alolan forms that the team leaders use. No kidding. Uh, they, they have the resistances of their Cantonian counterparts. Really? Yeah. And you say there's a there's a Reddit article for uh, yep. that says exactly that. Yep. We'll link you guys to that. We reference this here in this video, but we will link you guys to all of the stuff that either we use in this video or that we reference here in this video. So that way you guys get uh, you know a better idea as to what it is that we're talking about in expansion. So, uh, getting back here to uh, Blanche, uh, man, that's that. I think I butchered her pronunciation. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, Master League, we got Lapras again. We got. Gliscor? Okay, that's a pretty odd choice. And we got Articuno. Oh! Articuno! Articuno! A legendary. a legendary indeed! So then we move on to Candela, who is the uh, who is the Team Valor leader. We got Slugma, we got Vulpix, we got Charmander. Okay, that that's that, that's great league, and you know, kind of just like, eh, you know? Uh, then we go on to the Ultra League. We have ourselves the alone form of Marowak. We got Houndoom, and we got Infernape, Infernape, baby. That's a badass right there. But here's the thing, is that we then get to the Master League. We got Infernape again? What? 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 Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of a pattern here. Lapras and Lapras, Infernape, Infernape. Okay. I mean, the next one is uh, Doozy, though. Yeah, we got Electivire, and Should we got I Moltres. Be, be Maybe, yeah, maybe, but see, I call him Sparky for some reason. 
Uh, yeah, but his name is Spark, but I also call him Sparky as well. But that's just really interesting that, uh, she that she has Mag Electivire. Th she should have had Magmortar. Yeah, look, that good point right there. And Moltres, man, that thing's going to be an absolute killer. Now, oh. with that being said, though, we then move on to Spark. With the Great League lineup, we got ourselves Magnemite, nice. Mareep, and Pikachu. We got the Ultra League, we have ourselves Alolan Raichu, we got Magneton, we got Manetric, and look at that. Um, Master League, it, we lead off with Manetric. Yep, we see a pattern here. Uh, we got Manetric, we got Milotic, and we got Zapdos. Milotic and Zapdos look like toughest among them all. Absolutely, 100%. I think we are going to have a tough time with Spark. We're going to have a very tough time with Spark, man. But see, here's the thing is that there's no amount of trainers that can take on the combination of Incineroar and Cosmog. So, yeah. with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be here a wrap for this video. So, I want to say thank you guys so very much for watching. I apologize that this is a bit of a long video, you know. It kind of turned into a reaction and you got, you know, discussions, you got rage and, you know, all that sort of comedic stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it all, despite how long it was. There's what? There's something interesting down there. There was something Don't interesting you see down the here. Sinnoh Stone? Yes, I saw the Sinnoh Stone, but we already talked about oh. the Sinnoh Stone. Okay, well, let's talk about it again. So, after the battle, you will receive rewards for completing the. Uh, the bleh, I can't even talk. I'm so hyped right now. Completion like, of the completion the of the battle. These rewards are given to both the winner and the loser. Yeah, we talked about this in a, in a previous video. Mm. We did. Uh, each player can get one set of rewards from the team leader a day and up to three from battling other people. These rewards include rare items such as the Sinnoh Stone. One set. Yeah. What well, about one, the two I saw on Reddit? But the question is, though, were they tra were they the team lead battlers or were they actual trainer battles? Okay. That, like, the, that you that know, the actual, be, like, say, for example, yeah. if you and I battle, trainer battles as opposed to, you know, team team leader battles. Because in team leader battles, you get you get one thing. But for the team, but for the uh, battles that involve you challenging other real trainers, real PvP, real yeah. PvP, you know they can get up to three items. Oh, okay. As oh, as said yeah. right here, uh, I can get up to I three from battling yeah. other people. So, so more lucrative. Yes. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, plus a little, you know, bonus discussion segment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, if you guys did enjoy this, please be sure to smash the like button and subscribe, support, and stay positive. 100%, man. Positivity is key to success and to growth and all that stuff. Like, it, it's just, it's, positivity is just, it's, it's too OP, you know what I'm saying? It's really awesome, and you guys make me exactly that. You guys make me 100% positive. I want to say thank you guys so very much for that. So thank you guys so very much for watching. And we'll, we'll see, see you next upload.